Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is another script tutorial. I'll show you how to make a simple staff chat script. Let's get straight into it. So let's jump into a file that we've just created. And the first thing I want to specify is a prefix for whenever our script writes anything in the chat. So I'm going to write options and a colon next to it, of course. Then we're going to go to the next line and we're going to write a P with a colon next to it. And this is going to specify our prefix. So I think I'm going to make it uh, some brackets in gray and staff chat in the middle with yellow text and then gray at the end as well, of course. Then we're going to go two lines down and we're going to write command. And then our command, which in this case is going to be slash staff chat. And some brackets like this. And then we're going to put text in the middle and a colon at the end, of course. And the next line is going to be the aliases. So we're going to write aliases and a colon. And then I'm just going to put slash SC. So this just specifies like other ways that you can write the command when you're trying to execute the command. Then you're going to go another line down and we're going to specify permissions. Remember the colon and we're going to make it staff.chat. So whoever has this permission will be able to use the staff chat. Next, we're going to write a permission message with a colon, of course, and these two quotation marks. And here we'll use our prefix. So curly brackets at P and we're just going to make a colon next to it to make it look better. And in red text, I'm going to write you don't have permission to do that. And on the next line, we're going to write trigger. And then we're going to start specifying our actual things. So one line down and one more tab. Then if arc one is not set and guess what? Another colon. And on the next line, we're going to do another tab and send. And in quotation marks, I'm going to write in red text slash staff chat message. And next to it to player. So now it just tells you that you have to write a message next to your command if you only execute the command without message. On the next line, we're going to write if arc1 is set and a colon. And then we're going to write loop all players and a colon, of course. And then we're going to write if loop player has permission and then quotation marks and staff dot chat. And remember the colon next to that, of course, of course, then write send quotation marks and use our prefix again with a colon next to it. Then I'm going to use a yellow color for this and then write a percent players display name and another percent at the end. Then I'll do a light gray color and colon and space and another percent. And we're going to write arc one inside those percentages. And then at the end, we're going to send it to loop player. So now it's going to send the prefix, then the player that is writing something in the staff chat and then their message to everyone who has the staff dot chat permission. Now let's copy this and test it out. I'm going to make a new file on Minehut, call it staff chat dot SK. And I'm just going to paste it in there and click save. All right, we're back in game. And the first thing I want to do is I want to actually give myself permission to use this. So I'm just going to type LP user fan staff permission set. And as you can see, it already knows that this permission is a thing. So staff dot chat and true. And now I should have the permission. So slash staff chat. And for some reason, I don't have permission. What? 
After further research, I think that the reason it says I don't have permission is because it's interfering with some other plugin that I have. But for some reason, slash SC works fine. So as you can see, if you just do slash SC, it will tell you what to do. And then if you do slash SC and your message, then it will send it to everyone who has the permission. Pretty neat, eh? Pretty neat. Anyway, that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, smash the like button and remember to subscribe and that's it, uh, bye.